All right, let's watch this clip of uh, Paul Mescal, Shersha Ronan, and Eddie, I almost said Eddie Burback, <laughs> Eddie Redmayne on the Graham Norton show. And I thought this was pretty interesting. Oh, Who's heck? actually going to think about that? If someone attacks me, I'm not going to go phone. I think One second. That's a very good point. Yeah. But, but I like That's the what topic. girls have to think about all the time. Yeah. Am I right, ladies? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. All right, so let's let's watch this back and break it down. Who's actually going to think about that? If someone attacks me, I'm not going to go phone. I think. All right, so he says, if someone attacked me, I'm, uh, you know, obviously they're, you know, joking around here. I don't know what the context was before this, but he's like, I'm not going to go get my phone. Like, I'm going to fight them, right? Uh, one second. Oh, one second. <laughs> Sorry, mom, one second. <laughs> and you can see, you can see Cher, she's like, okay, all right. Okay. Uh, that's a very good point. Yeah. But, but, uh, and now she tries to speak here. She tries to speak. Like that's what girls have to think about all the time. And she had tried. She had tried to like throughout this. You know, you can hear her, but she just uh, doesn't get her word in until here. Until here, and the immediate reaction to this. Oh, sorry. Yes, Denzel. Sorry, 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 sorry. I forgot to mention Denzel. Also, I um. Uh, this is... Wait, what movie is... Because obviously Paul and... Obviously Paul and Denzel are in Gladiator 2. Is Shersha in Gladiator 2? This... No. <laughs> what? She just... No. And neither is Eddie. So is this just like, it's multiple movies? Okay. All right. So I was like, I don't know if these four are in a movie together. Like, I don't think they're in a movie together that they're doing promo, uh, promo for a movie that the four of them are in together. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Okay. Okay. Anyway. 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 Yeah. Am I right, ladies? So Paul's, <laughs> Paul's, re Paul's reaction here. Am I right, ladies? <laughs> And what's interesting about this is that Paul and Eddie are two male celebs who who would have the label of like feminist allies, right? Especially Paul Mescal. He's the sad-eyed Irish sad boy and uh, has gotten a lot of love have got a lot of love for being, you know, for the films that he does, for the statements that he makes. And, you know, these are not guys who, and there's a lot of them in Hollywood, but these are not guys who have a known, um, you know, who are known to be misogynists, right? Paul, try and be more of asshole challenge. <laughs> Paul, try and be more of asshole challenge. But what I think this shows, what I think, what I think this shows is that it's still, it's still something that you don't, <laughs> Nandre, shut the fuck up. As a dude, as a dude, as a dude, um, your experience is still not as a straight, you know, straight dudes like. Eddie and Paul, their experience is never going to be Shersha's because she's a woman and she's looking at this and she's like, yeah, this is something that women have to think about all the time. And you can see the guys immediately be like, oh, right. I didn't think about that. Didn't consider that. And it is, I don't know, like, it's just a, it's a perfect example of how people can people people can be allies and there are still moments like this where you're like oh right I didn't think about that because that's not my lived experience so of course I'll be over here being like uh yeah I'm not gonna pull out my phone I'm just gonna fight this person 
Like, yeah, like not having to constantly think about your physical safety 24-7. It was full circle and proved her point so well. Yes. <laughs> and, then, and then her just doing this, her being like, am I right, ladies? <laughs> am I right, ladies? Like, yep, isn't it so sick? Isn't it so awesome that... uh that this is our reality and something that we have to think about all the time. And I, I love, I love that she, even though at first was being talked over that she still got the last word in there and she ate him up. Okay. Will you, I can't, I can't concentrate when you're pawing and stuff. Will you get, Ugh. I don't know. I, I don't know what to do with you. I don't know what to do with you. I know. I know, baby. I, you don't, you don't want to be here, but you don't want to be there. But it's hard for me to concentrate when you're just pawing at me. And you're farting and you're farting. I love you, but you got to get down. I love you. I know. I know. You got to get, no, you can't. <laughs> He's just trying to jump right back up. I know. I know. Ah, uh, no. Okay. It is really hard for me to concentrate when Will is gone because he does this where he's, he's, he's just pawing at me. He's pawing at me even when he's sitting in the, yeah, okay, you want back up? I know. It's the same thing. It's going to be the same thing. It is just mother, please. Mother, please. I'm going to, you know what? Actually, I'm going to put him in his own chair. Um, you're going to get your own chair. Now we got the Farley chair. Okay. Come here, uppies. Up. This is your chair now. Okay. Okay. Yep. We both get our own chair. We both get our own chair. Can you sit? Sit. Can you sit? Sit down. Sit. Okay. Great. Great. Uh, everyone, please welcome in my guest, my co-streamer. <laughs> yeah, let's get him a mic too. Please welcome in my co-streamer Farley, who now has his own chair. Yeah, it's gonna be good. Okay. Anyway, here's the follow-up. Here is Sersha's follow-up. Sersha, you're in all the papers today, from the Sersha. Sun to the Guardian Sersha. to the Telegraph to the Times, uh, because of the Graham Norton show on on Friday night. The reaction has been wild. It's definitely not something that I had expected and I didn't necessarily set out to sort of make a splash but I do think there's something really telling so many uh, men and women that I know from all over the world have gotten in touch with me about this one comment which is again I would urge people please 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 to watch this in context the boys weren't sort of like debunking anything that I was no. saying and yeah and I think that that's she's she's spot on she's like they weren't you know they weren't trying to invalidate my experiences as a woman and they weren't saying like huh women you know dramatic whatever they weren't saying anything about it they they were just men men joking around as as men do and Cher was like yeah that's not how it goes for women though yeah and you can see them immediately be like, oh, <laughs> yeah, that is, yeah, that is correct. You have, you have uh, made, you've made a good point. Points were made, points were made, points were simply made, and those points were good. And Paul being one of my very dear friends, I've had conversations like that with him before, and he completely gets that and completely understands that. Um, but I think the fact that, there was a moment like that that happened on a show like Graham Norton, which is something that the entire nation tunes in to watch. It seems to have had an accessibility, which seems to have mm -hmm. really gained traction, which I think is amazing. You know, it's 
it's opening a conversation and um again hopefully it's allowing more and more women to just be like well yeah actually let's talk about our experience like i met a woman last night who's who's working on bliss and she said that you know it was really interesting after we watched that interview myself and a few of my female friends were with my husband and we said oh you know this really reminds me of the fake phone call and her husband went what fake phone call what do you mean and of course you wouldn't understand you yes. you have to go through anything like that but she somehow throughout her life as a female has gained these tools without ever talking to other women about it and understanding that this is sort of a survival tactic and we've all sort of like subconsciously found the same tools and used them again and again and i find that really interesting I um, I loved it. I loved it because it 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 meant it gave men an insight, yeah, um, that they mightn't have got uh, if they didn't know already. And I, th- I thought it was great. I'm done. Yeah, and it, to be to be clear, this is not uh, this is not something where it was like fuck Paul Mescal and fuck Eddie Redmayne and blah 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 blah. I think it just highlights. It's 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 an example that highlights that men can mean well and can be allies can say that they're you know feminists and whatnot but they still will never have the the shared lived experience of women and there are situations like this where yeah as a as a guy you might see this and go oh yeah I also like wouldn't have understood why there's a difference here depending on if you're a man versus a woman and as women, you watch this clip and you just go, yeah, I've been in this situation a, a million times. Like, I I date a man. I date a man, Will Neff. And I've had moments like this where he is, you know, Will's, Will is a, a feminist. He is a man who supports women. He is an ally, all those things. But there have still been moments like this where I've explained something or I've done something that is that that he didn't know I was doing or like that I would have a different perspective from because I'm a woman and it's not a it's not like a condemnation of him and it's not a condemnation of like Paul Mescal it's just the reality of oh yeah when you do not have this lived experience you will have blind spots like there will yeah momentary blind spots based on your experience totally cis heck guy here fake phone calls faking a phone call to get out of a potentially unsafe situation right especially if it's a guy yes yeah Mm -hmm. just shows the blind spots us men have when it comes to certain issues women face right and this doesn't just go for men versus women right we all have blind spots based on what our lived experiences are and what they are not. Really hit home for me a few years back when I worked bar security. Women would come to me acting like they're coming into the bar when they really were trying to get away from a creeper. Yeah. Yeah, it's 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 stuff like that where there's no, you know, there's no group chat of all women saying like, oh, yeah, here's here's what we do. Here's what we don't do. These are instinctive things. And obviously, you know, there are like like you go online and women are talking. Women are talking. But what she was talking about is that women do a lot of the same things because it's a. It, it's it's like ways to protect yourself in situations that we all uh, that we all find ourselves in, and it's this I don't know it's it, it it just goes to show how this is a universal experience that women will come up with the same things that other women do to try and protect themselves because it is yeah learned behavior. Mm-hmm. Doverguard, thank you for the seven months. Delighted you did that. Uh, so thank you. And I'm delighted with the reaction to it because it's, it's important yeah. too. Nandre, I am not, no, I am not reading anything you're writing. <laughs> I'm 
I know it's just a little clip, but it reminds me of how celebs have their public image and the BS that they say behind closed doors. And this just felt like a taste of the world they live in. Hey guys, Nandre, Nandre's an ally. Nandre is not just a male feminist. He's a feminist. He doesn't like the label of male feminist because Nandre believes that everyone should be a feminist and you shouldn't differentiate your feminism with the added label of male feminist. He's, it was very brave. It was very, very brave of you. For people, for anyone who doesn't know, if you're at a bar and don't feel safe leaving because of a creep, go tell the bartender. Many bars will have someone escort you and just seeing. Yeah, I used to tell, um, I used to tell the male security guards at the clubs that I worked at, I was like, if you see a guy leaving with a girl and she is very, very clearly intoxicated or perhaps, you know, has been drugged, we don't know. But if she is not coherent and the guy is coherent, I'm sorry, but you need to stop and just inquire as to what's going on. Because too many times, too many times what would happen is... And I, I, I intercepted too many times, too many times, but I intercepted a lot. And, um, what it would be is like a guy who was taking a girl home who he did not come with and was like, had, had only met that night. And so when those situations would arise, the male security guards would stop them and say like hey do you know this guy did you meet him tonight do you have friends here type of thing and that was not something that was like a hypothetical of oh we just want to make sure that you know no one's being taken advantage of that was a response to situations where um incoherent you know women women who were uh who were you know intoxicated or for whatever reasons were not functioning and um yeah it, it was a response to situations where that would happen like there was a there was one night where this guy was uh this guy was escorting a girl out of the club and she was so gone that she could not walk and was clearly not comprehending her situation or her surroundings and I remembered her specifically because I was like that girl did not come in with that guy <laughs> like I know for a fact they did not come in together that she came in with a group and we stopped him we stopped this guy from taking her and we ended up like he ended up leaving he, he didn't end up taking her out of the club and then, you know, we would go upstairs and, like, try to find friends that she came with type of deal. Yeah. There's also code drinks to order when you need help. With the yeah, there's code drinks. There's, uh, there's, all, there's all sorts of things that women will do when they are in a situation where they are feeling threatened, where... They're worried for their safety. I'm just extra locked in to about this today because we watched audition last night and that's all about how dudes reduce <laughs> reduce women down to bullet points and not people. Nandre, thank you. Thank you so much for your allyship. We women can go to sleep and we can we can feel safe and good knowing that you are on our side 